Good morning, everybody. Jeff Toyson at Cutter Masters. A local um, end mill supplier has given us a box of a bunch of three quarter inch carbide tools to sharpen. So we're gonna make some videos for you this week. In these videos, you're gonna see a few things. Star of the show is the journeyman tool grinder with a digital readout on it. We're starting to sell a lot of these things with digital readouts. If you've ever run a mill with and without a digital readout, you'll understand why. They're pretty popular. <clears throat> In this case, since we're just doing ends and rads and cutting off, we're cutting off using our motorized spindle. That's an ER32 right there. We're coming out with a 5C uh, motorized spindle, probably May. And then over here we have our freestanding filter fan. That's a 24 volt DC motor in it with a furnace filter. Very easy to find and replace. That basically just keeps clean air going past the operator. It works extremely well. You notice there's not a lot of dust on the machine. Uh, we've already cut off two tools there. So um, it works good. The Journeyman JXT is basically the modern version of our original Journeyman. Has a 77 millimeter DC motor on it, 130 volts. Very powerful. The same torque as that 50 pound 56 C face 300 watt AC that used to be on there. But having a smaller motor with the same torque allowed us to make a more sophisticated mount. Very easy to position. Uh, and of course, being height adjustable allows you to do a really good job on ends. What we're doing in this case is we're using our new, this is an easy end setup here. And it's a lot easier to do the end of the end mill with a rigid edge profile than it is with the side of a tapered cup. So here we've got a plated bond diamond wheel you traverse the, the end of the end mill at a, whatever height you want, given the angle that you want. And then when it's time to do a center gash, you just lift it up, plunge the gash. Take out the center of flutes two and four, or whatever your choice is. Really easy to do. So you can cut off in about a minute using the motor spindle. And you can do an, a perfect center cut again in about five minutes with our Easy Ends kit. Here we have a square sitting on the machine. Just to show you how to get started, you really need to time the tool to the machine. So, use a square, line up your vertical flutes so the tips are in line with the edge of the square and then you're timed to the axis of the machine. It's very straightforward. We'll do some movies to show you how to do these operations. We should have four or five movies coming out this week. Hope you like them. Thanks for watching.